Center. What's up guys, my name is Andrew and I'm back in the video today I welcome you to a brand new Let's Play. Today we are Let's Playing Danganronpa Trigger Happy Hat. Now this is probably one of my most favorite games of all time, at least one of my favorite video game franchises of all time. The second game is actually my favorite one, but this one is definitely has some heavy nostalgia factor. And so, if you don't know what this game is, it is a murder mystery visual novel s game, kind of like Phoenix Wright in a way. Um, but it's, um, it's I, don't, I don't know how to put it. Like, it's, it's basically what it is. But it's centered around uh, 15 high school students entered into this prestigious academy, prestigious high school called Hosting Academy, and um, they are trapped and forced to. You know, stay there, and, and if they, the only way they can escape is if they kill one of their classmates and get away with it. So, as you saw from that intro, Monokuma will be the mascot. Well, not the mascot, but he's like the um, the main antagonist, we'll say, of this game. And so, we are just going to get started. We'll start a brand new game. I've already played all the games. Um, we're just going to start a brand new game, and we're going to overwrite any save files I have on this one. Uh, we'll do... We'll do mean difficulty. And I'm not- I'm gonna try to avoid- okay, hold on. Alrighty, so that was the opening. Um... Anyway, I'm going to try to give these characters some voices. I'm gonna struggle definitely a lot with the female voices. I'm gonna do the best I can. Um... Some of them I don't think I'll be able to do. Uh, I'll, some of them I'll just have to use my normal voice, I think. But I will try. Uh, maybe not for some of them. Some of them, some of the girls are a little bit too high pitched for me. And I can't really do them. My, my voice doesn't do high pitched enough for them. But I will try as much as I can. The massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling suburban area. So the school stands at the center of the entire world. There it is. Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable government-funded school of privilege. They said that if you can come here and graduate, manage to graduate, excuse me, I can't read, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope Peak a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to attend this school. Just two. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student can enroll in here. The only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. And setting out there at the gate of this ultimate school filled with the ultimate students. You're going to be hearing that word a lot, ultimate. Was me. And here he is, our protagonist. Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. That is Bryce Peppenbrook. By the way, um, for those of you who do not know, I mean, a lot of the Dog and Rubber fans probably already know that, but Makoto, as the, since he's the protagonist and he's who we're playing as, 
he just couldn't get my normal voice. Which, you know, should be expected anyway. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. I mean, not with that hair. <laughs> you see this guy's pop of hair he's got on his head? Um, average on the outside, average on the inside. Really don't have much going for you when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm a psychic or a mutant or whatever. As far as I know, mutants are never really a thing in, this, in, these, in, this, in these games. Like, if you ask me what my favorite song was, or my favorite movie, or a TV show, they all just be whatever is most popular at that particular moment. Even among the average, I'm completely average, so I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. That's just who I am. Anyway, I figure it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But you know, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, he's, put, he's putting that in quotes, so you gotta, you gotta take it with the greatest off. I'd say a little more gung-ho than other people. I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary, but still. Here I am, standing in front of anything but normal ordinary at the Academy. I just can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. I feel this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole. But it's no wonder I'd feel that way. What you have to understand is... Well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. You come and... Apparently my friend knows them. Never guess everything there is state of the art. She has ultimate pop sessions. The ultimate pop sensation is going to be there. Yeah, the ultimate baseball pro is going to be there too. So Jill is solely for winners. How can anyone get in? Anyone can't. So let's read the stuff in the back. You can't see my mouse, but it's there. Help speak only invites those students who are truly elite in their field. Such a popular topic that threats online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So to prepare, I looked up some of those threads. All I saw was talking about ultimate students who wave around your average high school. Like I said, you're gonna be hearing that word a lot this let's play, and any and all the rest of my dog and let's plays. For example, one of the incoming one you comes to is the ultimate pop sensation. I guess she's a high school girl who's also the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. There's also the ultimate baseball star. He he looks angry. He's not happy with this game. <laughs> He's not happy with this ball. He was a cleanup hitter for the National High School Champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. I don't know why we had that, but we had that little flash there. Then there's the ultimate fashionista. I think ultimate model would have been a better term. To be honest. She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. Not every high school girl, but a lot of them. Oh, they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader, too. Look at this guy. <laughs> what is this man? This man is this crazy diamond. Look at this guy. He's got a freaking pompadour. <laughs> freaking corn looking hair. The scary thing is, he's in effect the leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love the guy. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator. <laughs> I still have my doubts about that, about, like, how that is a talent, but. Whatever. Ultimate gambler. Swimming pro, programmer, clairvoyant, and then some. Reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest, top to bottom. Well, I'm gonna raise my... my uh, oh, no, 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 lower. That better? Uh, let me raise the sign of it. Sorry, I'm trying to adjust my camera, so I'm not, like, cut off. But also, you can't see my monitor. I think that's good. That's good. Alright. Here we go. I feel like a tame little house cat who'd wander into a pride of lions. But still, there's something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there are a few students who I couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I looked. Those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. Then what about those new students? They didn't seem to pop up anywhere. Could they just be average students like... Could they be just average students like me without any talent or anything? That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality. Beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How did an unbelievably average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate high school? I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to like, take one glance at the acceptance letter they sent me to see why. Mr. Makoto Knight, we recently held a lottery to select one, ran one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you have been selected. We invite you to join us as the ultimate lucky student. Included is an orientation guide for Housebeach Academy. I literally just read that. They spelled it out plain as day. I got invited by pure luck. Honestly, I probably would have been better off just declining their offer. 
But after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I just couldn't say no. I mean, I gotta respect that. <laughs> Then actually standing here in front of the school. I started to feel lost, like I didn't belong there. I didn't feel myself losing my nerve. Still, I can't just stand here in front of the gate forever. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down the acceptance letter clutched in my hand. It said there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8 a.m. The meeting isn't still for a little while, but I should probably just head in. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. Now yeah, that I've all my determination I tried to act like I've done this a million times before. But my first step towards the main hall. As it is, whenever you get to a new school, it's always like... Oh, it's like always like, oh god, just pretend you've done this already. Oh, this looks nice. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock over in the corner. It says 7, 10 a.m. Meaning doesn't start till 8 o'clock, so it's still a full 50 minutes up. So this guy got up at like... He had to have gotten up by at least 6. Because you know how Japan is with all their public transportation. Probably takes a bit. This man had to get up probably at like 6, 6.30, something like that. To be here at 7.10. Makes sense nobody else would be here yet. I was so wound up I got here way too early. I have plenty of time before the meeting. Just standing around waiting isn't exactly... I should take a look around the school. Maybe that'll help me calm down a little. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? I mean, you wouldn't think so. That'll help me kill some time or something else. Better watch those words! Trying to play it cool, I took my first step into Hellspeak Academy. It's also my first step towards starting a new life at a new school. At least that's what I was hoping for. And then... This starts. <laughs> what the... The instant I took that first step forward, my view became warped, twisted. It was like some kind of delusion, melting away and mixing together in something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away and spinning again. And then the mo next moment, everything went black. And that was how it all began. How And how life as I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realized. The reason I was brought to Hope Speaking Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Another word you're going to be hearing a lot. Despair. Welcome to Despair. Prologue. With the big Vegas sign. <laughs> uh, yes. Overwrite these. Doesn't actually matter. And here we are, sleeping on a desk. What? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but what was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. What the heck is going on? I love the pop-up book style of the game. It's great. I love it. Welcome to Hostpeak Academy. First thing we'd like to explain the basic controls. Yeah, this green text is our tutorial guide. You can use the mouse to adjust your aim. If you aim an object you can interact with, you can press the left mouse button. And presto, you'll investigate that object. Use WAS to, button to adjust your viewpoint, or you can press and hold the right mouse button and and move the mouse around. That's looks like a looks like a coding error with the, with the text. <laughs> you're looking around the classroom. So yeah, we can use WAS to move around. We can move our this thing around. Let's investigate some stuff. We got this. There's a TV. The school is funded by the National Guard. I mean, like it's not that we'd have TVs in here. Something feels off. I wonder what it is. We got a clock. Jeez, I can't believe it's already eight o'clock. Just like the seven when I first got here. Has it really been almost an hour since then? We got a security camera. Surveillance camera, same thing. It is a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have to keep the weirdos from just wandering in. We got this thing. We got these. What the heck? In any normal classroom, that's where a window should be. But it looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. Power to knock on it. Yep, definitely metal. Thick too, very solid. Wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are there metal plates over the windows? Remember correctly, the only thing left to investigate is this. That's the desk I fell asleep on. You still see a ladder rule I must have left there. Ah, let's clean that up later. Hey, what's that on the desk? Hey there, new kid! The next semester is about to start. Starting today, the school will be your entire world. No 
orientation guide? What a cheap looking pamphlet with something handwritten on it. Handwritten on it. Yeah, just write that. What the hell is this someone's idea of a joke? Okay, let's see. So what just happened is I got myself surrounded up and passed up the main hall. And then someone carried me here? If that's true, it must mean this is the classroom in Psycho's Peak. But then if that's true, that just raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows, it's like a prison or something. I don't this makes any sense. Let's probably head back to the main hall. It's already past meeting time. There might be other students there now. You leave the classroom up for seeing the arcade. Why don't we do just that? Oh, this music takes me back. It's so nostalgic. Jeez, this hallway is kind of weird, too. This is getting stranger by the second. Honestly, I have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, just head to the main hall. Tutorial guy again. Use walls to move through the hallway. Hold down shift key when moving to run. Also, you can press tab key to bring up a map. Press tab key again to close the map. How can we? Actually, I just need this. Where am I? Oh, yes. I remember the... I remember the layout of this place now. The hallway is over here. So we got AV room. Over here we saw the um, big red door. That'll be later. Um, school store. It's closed. This is the main hall. We can explore the school later. We're just, you know, going to the main store in this now. By the time I go back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. Damn it. And we wanted to be early. Oh, hey. Another new kid? Huh? Then you guys are all... Yeah. We're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. Oh, you can't see his head. Hold on, I'm gonna... Take away my mic, my, my, um, my webcam so you can actually see the guy's face on the left. So, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, right. but... I wonder if this is everyone. Saying before, we were the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who gathered there, taking in their faces one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. Here we go. Um, how's it going? My name is Makoto Naegi. Sorry I'm late. A bunch of stuff happened, and then I will, all of a sudden I was just asleep. Huh? Whoa, you too? Hmm. Things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. Mm-hmm. So strange. I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. Um, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Got it! Just a moment! There's something else we must address! Makoto! The tardiness is unacceptable! Surely you are aware that the meeting was to start at 8 a.m. sharp! To be late on your first day is unspeakable! I must report you and you must accept your due punishments! What? What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. That's right! Everyone just calm down! Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Huh? The hell? Now's no time for friggin' introductions. <laughs> Maybe, but it may be good to at least find out who we all are before we get into the bigger problems. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we do not know each other's names? Yeah. That's a good point. Um... Okay, so let's get introductions out of the way, then we can move on to whatever else. Sound good? I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best just to focus on getting to know each other now. So I guess this is as good a chance as I'm gonna get. I already looked around everyone for the Homestreet Academy thread online, but I still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. I'll start by talking to those five over there. Aim at the student, press left mouse button to talk to them. Each conversation is important to build while stories, so keep track of how. Excuse me. Keep track of how they go. Alright, so. I apologize, some of the girls' voices are gonna sound a kind of bit similar, but I'm gonna try to make them as diverse as I can. So first up, we'll talk to this guy, Mr. Prefect I'm over Kiyotaka here. Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. Kiyotaka Ishimaru, ultimate moral compass. So that's Kiyotaka. According to what I saw about him on that thread, he went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. He's also known for the work he's done with his community's public morals committee. They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of ultimate moral compass. Anyway, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto Naegi, right? <laughs> That's a good name. A strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. And to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Got it. Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it, right? Right? 
This guy is kind of annoying. <laughs> and next up we have this girl. Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but I'm Toko. Toko Fukawa. Ultimate writing prodigy. Basically, she'd just say ultimate author, but whatever. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking and lost her literary career. Then two years ago, she released Soul Lingers in the Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. The book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly rose to the top of every hottest men pole. Despite her age, she's won countless literary prizes, and all her books are instant bestsellers. Which is why she's going to become known as Ultimate Writing Prodigy. What else could you call such a young and talented author? I figured she'd be a lovey-dovey type, with that masterpiece being romance and all. What's your problem? What? It's not like to stare, you know. What the heck? Stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature. Filthy creature? No, I just thought... I, I know what you just thought. You thought you've never seen such an ugly woman. You just thought it was so funny. No, that's not what I was thinking at all. I'm telling you! Don't bother trying to lie to me! I know it's true, otherwise you... I know you can't stand looking at me. Anyway... Whatever, I don't really care, I'm used to it. Wow, talking about inferiority complex. I was way off from what a successful author would be like. I like her, but honestly that's for reasons for a game that, that's coming way down the line. So, we'll, we'll get to that in the future, but... This game doesn't do her enough justice. The game she's in later does. And now we have this girl. Hi, I'm Sayaka Maizono. I look forward to getting to know you. Ultimate pop sensation. The way she moves is positively mesmerizing. That pleasant scent I can't quite place. Sayaka Maizono. When I saw her name in that thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's a pop. She's in a pop group famous, um, all, famous all across the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on TV and magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason to surprise. I was, I was surprised to find out she'd be going to this school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful, almost like a doll or something. <laughs> I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Huh? Did you hear me? Uh... I'm psychic. Huh? <laughs> Kidding. I just have really good intuition. She's a sharp one. Hey, um... Huh? Huh? Hey, by any chance... Now what? Huh? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto. Just hold on. Jeez, you guys. How long do you plan to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Uh, um... Sorry. She's got... Carried away, I guess. You hear me? Self-introductions are for introducing yourself, not bumbling through a bunch of idle chit-chat. Um, You're right. Sorry. Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. Sounded like Psyche really had something she wanted to say. It's not like we'll never see each other again. It's like she said, we can talk later. And now for this dude. Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? Yeah, this is the baseball guy from earlier. I recognize that name. He played for the National High School Champs as their cleanup hitter. That's perfect athletic assessment is... You? Seriously? Huh? Huh? What's wrong? Nothing, I'm just surprised. I figured you'd be an ultimate baseball Give star. Break. What, were you expecting some kid with a shaved head? Shaved head? No, I was expecting more of a... You know sporty looking traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found that article and picture of you online, that's how you looked then. <laughs> what? Oh man, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously? I hate that picture. What the crap? This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously, I'm like mega embarrassed right now. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like that is part of national championship regulations. Wait, but I refuse to cut my hair. I'm not gonna dye it back to normal either. Hey, listen. Actually, can I be totally honest with you? You know, I don't like baseball. Like, at all. I've never gone to a single practice. He's never practiced and he was still his team star player? He's some kind of prodigy. Yeah! As soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. A dream for the future? <laughs> my only path in life is getting into music. 
You can feel that star quality aura I have, right? You know what I mean. You gotta be a singer, so all I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar, and we're all set. How cool is that? This new version of me chasing after my dream is like super cool to the max. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I knew something like that from the Ultimate Baseball stuff. And finally, we have Mr. Fat Guy over here. I am Hifumi Yamada. But if you want to call me by my nickname, the Alpha and the Omega. I don't mind. This is the fanfic creator. Mm -hmm. Because who else would it be? By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? World of 2D? <laughs> well, in that world, I am known, I am well known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. Mm -hmm. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival. The event has passed into legend. Hmm. Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I tainted the event. How stupid can you be? That's too bad about them. But selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. However, the words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am like Danko, utterly unappreciated in my time. I am a soldier, serving night and day to destroy all of Midas' preconceptions about fan fiction. I am sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Knight, you would comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. For my work is filled with deepest meaning. What kind of meaning? Meaning. Yes, indeed. It's about embracing our basest urges. I don't think I want to comprehend it. Nope. <laughs> that guy cracks me up sometimes. Now out of these five people, start with this girl. Hey up! I'm Aoi Asahina. But my friends just call me Hina. Sup? Yep, this girl is the swimmer girl. Aoi Asahina. She's been breaking records in every competition she's been in since elementary school. She's even chosen been chosen as upcoming Olympic cadet. She is without a doubt the ultimate swimming pro. I mean, that's quite an achievement. I'll give her that. It takes a lot of work to join the Olympics. To be, you know, considered for joining the Olympics. Combination of her ability, appearance, and um, proportions have been widely discussed online. And, yeah, you know, we're saying it this way. <laughs> so, uh, what was your name again? Sorry, totally forgot. Makoto Nairiki. <laughs> oh, yeah, I knew it was something like that. No, not something like that. It is that. You got it! Sure, sure, got it. Here, I'll hammer it into my brain right now. Yeah! Makoto Nagi. Makoto Nagi. She just kept repeating my name, moving her finger across her palm like she was writing something. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know? If you want to remember someone's name, you gotta write it on your hand three times. I've never heard of that before in my life. I actually didn't hear about that either until I started until I played this game originally. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? You spell it exactly like it sounds. Mm. Um... <laughs> well, I have no idea. <laughs> I'll just figure it out later, right down. Okay. Anyway, glad to meet you. Sure, same here. Yeah, one thing I learned is she's totally easy going and bursting with energy. Uh, next time for this one. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. This one's a programmer. Sorry, I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. <laughs> anyway, I hope we can get along. Same here, nice to meet you. Huh? Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but have we met before? Um, I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said nice to meet you. Uh, I'm oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, good point. Sorry. You don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Chihiro Fudasaki is known for all the cutting edge programs she's created. She's the ultimate programmer. She's also got that timid little bunny type thing going for her, which has endeared her to her Legion of Fans. Um. Hey, so listen. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I'm really sorry. Huh? What are you apologizing for now? Um. Well, just because you seem upset. You must be mad at me, right? No, not at all. I've just lost some thought about something. Huh? Huh? Lost in thought? Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. Oh, that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. I'm starting to understand why her fans are so into her. I did not mean to select that. There we go. Now for this girl. 
Um, can I ask your name? My name is Kyoko Kirigi. Ultimate question mark. She's pretty tight lipped, huh? Oh, but you know, her name didn't show up anywhere in that Host Peak Academy thread. Now, I did see that there were students like me. Once you didn't have any real identity or presence, could this girl be one of them? Um, so what are you doing at the school? What? What's that supposed to mean? No, I just meant getting by here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. Why should I tell you? Huh? Well, I guess you don't have to tell me. Ugh. No, I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. Nothing about her turned up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me, but... Her face is like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. And now for Miss Model Girl. Hi! I'm Junko Enoshima. Charmed, I'm sure. Anybody would recognize this one. She's had more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. I've seen her talk in tons of magazine covers, but... I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. Yeah, she's got freckles! What? Huh? Come on. Oh, were you talking about my cover photos and junk? <laughs> <laughs> well, of course. It's a totally photoshopped. Photoshop? Yeah, you know, edited Helen back with, like, computers and junk. Oh, so they aren't real. What can we do? Come on, don't act so surprised. You're gonna make me all depressed. Totally. That's totally normal these days. Photoshop have the crap out of cover photos. If you're surprised by that, you'd be totally blown away by a certain little dangerous, by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> they make the eyes and junk super big and quick the skin, so it looks all ceramic and porcelain. Oh, so many dreams are getting crushed today. <laughs> And now for this Name's guy. Name's Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet you. Nice to fucking meet you too, bro. Mr. Biker Gang Leader with your corn hair. Mondo Awada, huh? Which means... He's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. He's earned respect even off in every gang in the country. He's the ultimate biker gang leader. Um... Nice to meet you too. Yo. Hell yeah. I'd better be careful around him. One wrong word and I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. Those four are there, we're the only ones left. I am Sakura Ogami. Ultimate martial artist. This town actually has a name that makes sense. Oh jeez, I almost asked her if she was a guy. The day I say something like that out loud is the day I get turned into a human meatball. But now I remember. She competed in a martial arts tournament in America and won, despite being a girl. She's the ultimate martial artist. She's fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. And the thread also said a bit more about her. Some call her Ogre. Some even think she's the closest known relative to the primates, the famed Mystic Link. That's mean. That's mean. Any incoming Host Peak Academy, Host Peak students who are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you value your life, avoid her at all costs. That seems a bit mean. See, if we're running for right now, I don't think they were exaggerating about that. Hey. Hey, you. Huh? Yes? I snapped to attention without even realizing it. <laughs> then she started the poking prod in my body. Um, what are you... I see. Muscular quantity, quality and quantity is right around that of an extremely ordinary high school student. <laughs> what a shame. You are not at all fit to act as my training partner. I'm not sure that's such a shame for me. Name's Byakuya Togami. Affluent Prodigy. I actually didn't know what that meant before I played this game for the first time. I Hi, uh, nice to meet you. That's the most half-assed introduction I've ever heard. But there isn't really anything I can do about it. Um, even among the ultimate students, this one is special. Byakuya Togami. He's the heir apparent of his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already started managing business operations, and his own personal assets are, well, vast. His title of Ultimate of the Progeny is completely accurate. He is the definition of exceptional. And everything I learned from about, about him from the Host Peak Academy thread online. Basically, he's Ultimate Rich Kid. <laughs> Come on. We're done with introductions, right? 
How much longer are you going to stand there? Go away. I'm sick of looking at you. As Aura says to me, you and I would never stand on the same level, like a king in training. This guy, okay. This guy, I have one gripe with the dub for... With this, with this English dub for this guy in particular. Because they mispronounce his last name. I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hero for short. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. His last name is actually pronounced Hagakure. That's... That makes... That always annoys me whenever it's brought up. It's, it's actually pronounced Hagakure. Like, they fixed it in the anime dub. They fixed it. But then they went two steps back and mispronounced Sakura and Byakuya's last name as Ogumi and Togami instead of Ogami and Togami. So... Pick your poison, I guess? Ultimate Clairvoyant. He's the... He's a fortune teller. Yasuhiro Hagakure. See, now it's got me doing it! Yasuhiro Hagakure. Known as ulti known as Supernova in the Sayaki community. The trend-setting ultimate clairvoyant. Honestly, I don't really get all that fortune-telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. Still, I can't help wondering if there's any truth to it. Could it be... Uh... Okay, I give up. Huh? What happened? For serious. I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I saw it. Totally saw it. Saw what? Hmm. Guardian Angel, the crazy perm, chasing after Bigfoot, running off with a skyfish in its mouth. That Guardian Angel is your Guardian Angel. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But hey, we should grab some brewski sometime and get real deep into the Lemur Lemuria and its civilization. What? We're not allowed to drink. We're in high school. You know? Oh, I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times, see, and... Well, it's a long story. A few times. Yeah, I bet that is a long story. When you realize you're the same age as this guy. <laughs> anyway, now it's time for this girl. I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. She's the gambler, and I'm trying to give her a little bit more of a French sounding voice. It's because it's kind of what she's trying to go for, but I think the enemy does a better job of that. Celestia Luden huh? <laughs> Ludenberg. It is my name. If you don't mind, I would prefer for you to call me Celeste. Um, you are Japanese, right? Huh? Of course. Why do you ask? If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you are talking about. Celeste Yellow Denberg is my real name. But as I mentioned, I would much rather you call me Celeste. She's polite, but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors in that thread were right about her. The self-styled Celestia Ludenberg. She's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. Other than her obvious love of gothic Lolita clothes, everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. They say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the title Queen of Liars. She totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did it. <laughs> I look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> <laughs> that smile is beyond deceptive. I better watch myself around her. And with that, all of the introductions are done. Hmm. Even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of... Um... Something. Hmm. Okay, it's time to get down to business. This is no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed baboons. Oh, that's true. I think someone's something about a bigger problem or something? What was that about? Um, listen. Well, you see... Uh, um, Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff happened and then you were just asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Just after each of us got to the main hall, we lost consciousness. And then when we came to, we were somewhere here in the school. That's what happened to you, right? But that's just weird. Then everyone else would get knocked out like that. Piece of shit! Exactly! That's why we're all freaking out! And that's not the only thing! You saw where all the windows in the classes and hallways are, right? But instead of normal glass windows, there's a bunch of big metal plates. What's that about? Are you 
for real. Plus, all my stuff's missing. Even my cell phone. Um... Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere either. <clears throat> and there's the main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. What does this mean? But there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck? What the heck? What's it doing here? Aww. Maybe we got caught up in some kind of, like, you know, a crime or something? Is it? Like... What? Like, a kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off and we're not actually at school? Hey, come on. Come on, don't think like that. Cheer up. I bet this is all just part of the school's orientation procedure. I can't English. I can't talk. You know? Yeah, I'm sure that's it. So I'm just gonna take it easy for a little bit. I see. Oh. So you think they want to do something to surprise us? What the hell? Huh. Well, if that's all it is, it's nap time you for me. You know what I mean. I was up way too late last night, so I could use a little shut-eye. I could feel everyone's tension evaporating. But then, it began. God, that sound is so nostalgic. Ahem, ahem, testing, testing, mic check, one, two, this is a test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. The voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... Right now! Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. Huh? What the hell was that just now? Goodbye. Well then, if you'll excuse me. Hey! Hey, what are you just gonna take off like that? Could it like be? That? Oh yeah, now I get it. This whole thing was just to get us all pumped for the entrance ceremony. <laughs> Man, thank God it was all a joke. I'd be totally freaked if this was real. You know? All right, guess I'll head out too. Just wonder what they got planned for us next. Huh? Uh... Damn, I was totally looking forward to that nap too. Why did they have to go and kill the mood? Huh? Wait for me. I want to go with you. <laughs> That is that then. I will see you all there. Anyway. N not that anyone cares, but I'm gonna go too. Everyone to go off for the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. That uneasy feeling I'd had before, I couldn't get out of my mind. And it looked like I wasn't the only one. Uh, um. This doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, and that announcement was totally weird. However. Maybe, but just staying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? I see. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. I... I guess she's right. But still, I'm kind of... no, really nervous. We don't have a choice. We have to go. They said to go to the gym, right? Alrighty. Alrighty, and with that, I'm going to end the first episode of Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you'll stick with me with the rest of the series. It's a whole lot of fun. I love this game to bits, and I can't wait to explore with you. And we're going to be exploring the bonus modes that happen after we finish the main story. I have, which I have not touched yet. I have not touched the bonus modes after the main story, so that would be a learning experience for all of us if you have not gone through them yourself or not seen someone else go through them anyway. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure to uh, subscribe to me here and ring the bell so you know you know when all my videos go up. Make sure to check out some of my other gaming videos. Uh, they'll be I'll have um I'll have my usual end green end screen card will have you know the previous episode which is not gonna have anything because you know, it's the first episode of Let's Play. And then it's gonna have a playlist of some other gaming playlist that I've done in the past I can either ongoing or finished or whatever so you can check that out um make sure you leave a comment let me know what you think of it um and for all of you who've played this game before or know what's happening please don't spoil it for any newcomers 
I really appreciate it. I'm not going to be spoiling anything. I'm trying my hardest not to anyway. But, anyway, that's all the time I have. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody.